Hi guys, welcome back to Silhouette Success. Today we are tackling the stained glass greeting cards. Extremely popular right now, super simple to make, and a lot of fun. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette, and I hope that you're going to join our little crafting community. We do a new project usually once a week and have a ton of fun. Now, if everyone is ready, let's do this. The materials list for this project is pretty straightforward. I used black cardstock that I got from Michaels. I used glossy photo paper that I got from Staples. I used my Elmer's double-sided tape runner and the double-sided sticky foam tape for dimension. Okay, when you have Silhouette Studio opened up, you're going to want to import your file. I got my design from Creative Fabrica, and I will put a link in the description for a free trial for you. I'm going to open up the folder. These are the designs that I imported, and I am going to go with this one here. We can pull that off to the side. Now we are going to make a five by five card, but since we need it folded in half, we're going to make a rectangle. We're going to come up here. We're going to unlock the aspect ratio button. We're going to make the width five and the height 10. Let's fill that in with black. Now, since this is not a square, we are going to have to crop a little bit. First thing we want to do is resize this. So let's click on that. We're going to lock our aspect ratio button there. And we want this to be a square of four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So let's do the height at four and a half and we'll have to crop the sides down a little bit. Now you want to grab a rectangle, hold down your shift key, then we can change the size on that to four and a half. Select both of these, center them, go to the modify panel, and click on crop. It's going to fit right there. We're going to have a nice quarter inch border of black around the image. So the front of our card will be five by five. This image will be four and a half. Now we need a square that is four by four. Let's draw out our square, adjust the size of it. Fill this in with black. We're going to go ahead and duplicate that. We're going to need one that's three inches as well. Now we can duplicate both of these. We're going to need this one to be three and a half inches. this one two and a half inches we're going to duplicate the image twice we're going to select these and center and crop we're going to select these and center and crop. Now when we put these all together, let's move this one out of the way. You can select all of them and center. 
If we move this one back behind there, you can see each one of the images will have a quarter inch border all the way around and it's going to end up looking like stained glass. We are going to cut our black pieces out of cardstock so we can arrange them on the mat. In the send panel, we can just choose simple, make sure our cut lines are lit up, select our material. I usually go with cardstock textured heavy then you'll be able to send that through. Now for our images here, we are going to want to go to Page Setup. I'm going to switch my media size to letter, and then I'm going to turn on the registration marks, and these will fit all on one sheet. Once you have that set, we're going to go up to File and Print. Check out the Print Preview. I'm going to send this to my regular printer. It's an EcoTank 2720. And Print. The colors in these prints are amazing. When working with paper and cardstock, you want to flip the mat over and peel it away from the paper. This is going to keep the curling to a minimum. These cuts could have used two passes, but I'll just go through and clean up the edges with a pair of scissors. Now for the cardstock. I'm really not fond of the scoring options with Silhouette, so I'm going to make my fold manually with my scraper and ruler. and I should have cleaned off the edge first. It's perfect. We're going to place the largest picture on the card base. Make sure the image is facing the right way. My tape runner ran out, but that's okay. I've got refills on hand. Today I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond, but I like Ad Tech as well. Just pop the empty cartridge out, put the new one in.
and it might take a couple of swipes to get it started. Now we're going to make sure we have an even border all the way around and press the image in place. Then we'll repeat that process for the other two pictures. Now I'm going to switch to double-sided foam tape to give our layers some dimension. You can use the pre-cut squares or the dots, but I had this on hand and I am trying to use up some of the stuff that's in my craft room before I get on Amazon again. Let's remove the backing. Then you want to center the images and press them in place. And you can add another piece of cardstock to the inside for your message. You can use the sketch pens to do this or write it out by hand. These cards look amazing when they are finished and they're super simple and really a fun, quick project. Now, go create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.